Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be going over our Pack to Power a Cure binder. Uh, we're also going to be opening up a pack for a random commentator. Commentor? Commentator. I like commentator. Uh, commentator of one of last week's videos. Uh, we're also going to be opening up a pack for our Patreon Build the Pack box. Whatever good stuff we find, we're going to go ahead and throw it in there. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about our Pack to Power a Cure. Quick recap for anyone who doesn't know what that is, uh, you can find the entirety of the Pack to Power a Cure uh, journey, if you will, in one of our playlists named Pack to Power a Cure. Um, essentially, you start off with a pack of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, sealed pack, we started off with M19. You open it up and then you trade the contents and you keep trading and trading and trading until eventually you trade into a, a piece of the Power 9, uh, whatever it may be. Now, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're essentially going to be trading for one year, and at the end of that year, we're going to auction off the entirety of the contents of the binder, and all of the proceeds are going to go to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Uh, so that's what we're doing. That's our little version. Um, now, uh, we've may had some pretty good leaps and bounds when it comes to the trades, mainly because I'm so some very generous donations uh, and trades that people have made. You know, they know the, the cause that's going towards. Uh, so it's not your typical uh, trade as people may do. Um, some of these have been vastly in our favor. Um, and then someone also <laughs> traded us, uh, I think it was five booster boxes worth of commons and uncommons. And there were some rares and foils mixed in. Um, and... Even with just sorting out, essentially we went through uh, everything over 50 cents, we pulled out, and then we entered that into our deck box, which you can find that link in the description down below. You can find our deck box and everything we have for trade, so if there's something you want to trade for, uh, shoot us a message, um, you know, here, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, um, and let us know what you would like to trade for, and we can go ahead and work something out. Um, but... Even with all that, um, there was probably 100, maybe 150, I'm guessing, cards that got actually put into the, uh, the trade binder. All of the remainder of those cards that are not listed, um, they're still part of the Pack to Power. So when we eventually auction it all off, those cards will go with it. Uh, but I just didn't want to devote that much time to entering cards that people, for the most part, aren't going to be trading for because you know they're essentially the the bulk of the bulk. So, uh, but regardless, that donation was huge. Thank you, sir, very much. Um, that really kind of put us over the mark, uh, or at least put us back on track because we were kind of falling behind there for a second. But, anywho, um, something else I want to point out that is not in our list uh, that is available for trade, and essentially the price of these are going to be. It's going to have to be negotiated. But anyways, let me go ahead and fire up this camera here, and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about. Um, so here is, these are all from M25. And if you look, we're going to go ahead and bring that up nice and close. Hopefully the camera can catch up quickly. There we go. You can see how close to the bottom this print here is. Okay. Now, normally this would be considered like the cusp, if you will, of like uh, the border between an actual miscut and simply something that is off-centered. Uh, so we're calling it miscut for the sheer reason that if you look up here at the top, you can actually see the cutting dots right there and right there. Those are all, those white marks are not dings. Those are the, the cutting dots that they have. Um, and all of these cards, we'll go ahead and back this out a little bit so you can actually see the cards. Uh, we got a Thresher Lizard. Uh, Dirge of the Dead, uh, Renewed Faith, and then these next ones aren't as pronounced. There's a little bit more space at the bottom. Uh, we got a Bolduvian Horde, uh, Supernatural Stamina, and then this one right here, uh, I just included it simply because the uh, cutting dots are still shown, 
but you can see there's a lot more space here at the bottom. But we do have an Oromancer. Um, these cards are part of the binder, but there's really no way to put them in and have them marked for trade at a proper price because of them being, like I said, miscut, there is a slight premium on them. These aren't exactly sought after cards, but uh, they are still miscut. So if this is your thing, get a hold of us. We can work something out. So without further ado, uh, what we are currently at is we're at, now last month we were at $441.81. Now that was TCG mid. That's where uh, our collection value was at. This month we are currently at $568.98. That's TCG mid once again. Uh, but we are uh, over halfway to our thousand dollar goal. That's the kind of the goal we set uh, for setting this up when we were setting this up. Uh, we'd like to get at least a thousand dollars worth of cards to be able to auction off. So anyways, that's where we're at. Um, now in this Pact of Power binder, we do have some bigger name cards. We've got a Maelstrom Pulse, and it is the GP promo. Uh, we've got a Meddling Mage, uh, Academy Ruins from Time Spiral. Uh, we'll, oh, we've got the uh, the Island, let's see, it's Island number 287 from Lorwyn. That is Foil. That one's a pretty little thing. Uh, we've got Windswept Heath from Cons of Tarkir. We've got a Blood Crypt. Uh, that one is Japanese. We've got Asceticism. Um, so we've, we still have good stuff in here as well. And then we've got a whole bunch of stuff that's, you know, in the, um, you know, 15 or 5 to 15 dollar range in there as well. So we're still doing good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the progress we have made. Um, it has been a fun journey and we still got, like I said, I think roughly six more months i could be slightly off on that but i think we got six more months worth of trading so i'm excited to see where this is going to go so let's go ahead and jump back um into this uh let's see oh we should probably fire this camera up or at least the recorder there we go uh so for people who commented on last week's video we're on uh, Wheel Decide over here. We've got everyone's name in the list. We're going to jump on over to random.org. We're going to roll uh, two six-sided dice. Whatever comes up, we're last, we're, how many times we're going to click the list? Four is the number, so we're going to go ahead and click this thing four times, and whoever comes up, we're going to open up a pack of cards for you. Good luck to everyone that's involved. So we got once, twice, thrice, and four. Let's see who gets it this week. Congratulations to oh, <laughs> the Pichu 100. Oh, Agent, you were <laughs> Agent has been. Uh, he won a contest we did um, with MTG Strategist a while back, and uh, he's commented <laughs> several times that he wanted to win again. And I, I was rooting for you, man. You were right there, uh, but the Pichu took it this time. Um, I'm going to say Pichu won last week. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, all right. We're going to go ahead and uh, switch this over. We've got a Guilds of Ravnica uh, for the Pichu. We're going to see what kind of good stuff we can get. Now, keep in mind, uh, to win any of this stuff, you got to get a hold of us to let us know addresses. Um, we don't contact people to let them know that they've won. you got to watch it uh, to know if you won. All right, we got ourselves a Ledev Champion. Nothing great. Conclave Tribunal. That's eh, it's not bad. Uh, I believe we have a foil. We have an Inescapable Blaze, and we got a Quasi Duplicate. We actually have a deck tech with this card that is... Oh, good. Oh, so good. All right, our foil is, uh, what is that? Vernadi Shieldmate. Okay, well, you got yourself um, what I view as a good rare and yourself a foil. So congratulations, Pichu. All right, this pack right here, we're going to go ahead and open up for our Patreon Build-A-Pack box, which you can also find a link to our Patreon down below. Essentially, anything good in here is going to go in that, and then it, uh, it's given out to our patrons. Um, I'm just going to quick skim over this stuff here. Nothing nothing too fantastical. Uh, Swarm Guild Mage, no. Plague Crafter, okay, that's not too shabby. Uh, Gird for Battle, and then we got a Knight of Autumn. I don't know if that's still up there or not, but uh, we'll go ahead and throw that in uh, somewhere in that 
box so yeah that's what we got here today thank you all very much for watching uh if you liked what you saw here today do us a huge favor click that like button be sure to hit subscribe and to hit the bell notification button so you can tell we have new stuff coming out and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again thank you very much for watching as always you can find us on facebook and twitter chuck wagon mtg Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games.